In this video, I'll show you how to transfer your domain name from GoDaddy to another host like Namecheap. After this video, your domain will be fully transferred without any downtime and any remaining time that you have with GoDaddy is added to your renewal. So you are not going to double pay. And if you are asking, is it worth the trouble? Yes, it is. I have a whole rant video about why I greatly dislike GoDaddy, but we're not going to get into that right now. Now, before we start, I just want to mention that there are a few restrictions that you kind of can't go around. So first of all, the domain is more than 60 days old. So if you just bought it and it hasn't passed 60 days, you cannot, uh, you cannot transfer your domain name. Also, the same thing, if you, you already transferred between registrars within the last 60 days, you cannot move it again. And the third one, this is something we're going to do, but we're, it needs to be in unlocked state. Uh, but this is something uh, you're going to see how to do. Other than that, this takes about 15 minutes, although you do need to wait a bit longer between there because it all depends on GoDaddy and how quickly they send some uh, verification emails to us. Okay, let's get started. First, you just need to log into your GoDaddy account and just click on your name and then click on my products. From here, this might uh, be slightly different in your case, but you have domains here at the bottom, or you can also come here and click on this mosaic icon and you have here domains. Let's dismiss this and you can see here, I have one domain that I want to transfer. Now, as you can see here, you have the lock on. So we need to disable that before we can continue. And another thing, if you have auto renew, you just click on here and make sure it is uh, disabled. Once that's done, you come here and you have the lock, click on lock and continue. And you can see it's unlocking domain name. This just means we can move this now to another domain registrar like Namecheap. And then we need to double check one thing. Just come here, click on the domain name. And then here you have your details. Make sure the email address that is stated here that you have access to it. If you don't have access to it, you can change it from here to from the contact info. Uh, but you need to make sure that you have the access. Otherwise, you won't be able to complete this. So let's go back. OK, next we can just go to Namecheap where we're going to transfer our domain names. And I recommend the Namecheap. I've been with them probably for the last 12 years or so. So I've been really happy. I've had no issues with them so far and their prices are really reasonable. They've also always offered uh, privacy protections on all the domains. So basically your data is not shown publicly in the Whois database. Um, nowadays GoDaddy also offers that, but for a long time GoDaddy was charging people, people for that. And I'll leave my affiliate link in the video description. If you're going to sign up with Namecheap, might as well do with that link. You will, you will also support my channel that way. In Namecheap, make sure you create an account or you log in if you already have an account. And then we're going to hover over the domains and domain transfer. Here, you can just enter the domain you want to transfer. So in my case, it's this one here. I'm just going to grab it, paste it in here and transfer. So here you can see that this is uh, owned by GoDaddy. The domain name is unlocked. That's great. We can now do something about it. Make sure you uh, check this, uh, that you agree to the terms and conditions. Obviously, you need to read through them. And if you agree, then check on this. Uh, and then we can add this to cart. This is going to cost about 10 euros or I think it's about $10 in US. In my case, the domain name is expiring in a couple weeks anyway. So this is this works fine with me. And don't worry if you have still six months left with GoDaddy. Uh, Namecheap will take that six months and then just add it to your uh, to the, your account, to your registration. And that way you're not going to double pay. But before we can add it to a cart, we need the authorization code. And that's something we get from GoDaddy. So let's go back to GoDaddy. And let's go back inside the, this domain name and in here, click on DNS and make sure you take a screenshot or something of all of your DNS records. So right now I don't have anything here, but if you have anything, just make a screenshot so that in case something goes wrong with this transfer, you have them and you can then use that screenshot to actually then copy what you had in GoDaddy and copy that in Namecheap. Uh, but from here, just take the screenshots or, or just copy the values you see here in your notepad or something forwarding uh, name servers and so on um, just so that you have a backup in case something goes wrong. So just take a screenshot of all of these. In most cases, you don't have all of these anyway. So it's going to be only a few of those. Let's go back to overview. And now if you scroll down, you have here at the bottom transfer to another registrar. Let's click on it. And then if you scroll down, we can see 
Uh, here are some check checklists for you, but we get, we're kind of going through all each of these anyway. And then click on continue. So here you can see that it's unlocked. That's great. Click to here to see the authorization code. So I'll copy this to clipboard. Let's go to Namecheat and we're just going to add it here. Verify auth, auth code. Just click on it. You see a little green check mark appears. So great. We're good to go. Let's add this to the cart. And now here and then let's click on view cart. Now at this point, uh, what I like to do is I just go on Google and search for Namecheap promos and they have their own promo code page so if you have anything if, if you see anything that applies to you you can use them so here they have some coupons and you can see here this one will apply to us discounted registration and transfers just copy this over let's go into uh, back to the shopping cart add it to here promo code apply and i don't know did i get any discount i'm not sure but in your case maybe if you're a new client you're actually gonna uh, get some discount on that Okay, domain privacy, you want to make sure it's enabled. Also, auto renewal, if it's an important the domain name for you, don't worry, you can always disable these. We just uh, click here, confirm order. And now I'm ready to pay. I already have my PayPal, so it's already offering me here. If you don't, uh, you'll see a page where you can actually choose how to pay. I'm just going to go ahead and pay with PayPal. Okay, great. Now you bought this. If you scroll down, you have here the domain transfer and click on the manage here. Now the process of domain transfer has started, but it is still with GoDaddy. So it's, it's not completed. There's a few steps still we have to do. Next, I need to head to my email address and that's the email that was associated with this specific domain name. So if I go there, I should get within the next five to 10 minutes an email from GoDaddy. I don't have it yet, so I'm gonna wait a little bit, pause this video until they do send it. Okay, for once, GoDaddy didn't take their time and it just take maybe 10 minutes and then they send this email. Basically, they're saying that you could now just, um, everything is done. If you don't do anything, it will get transferred within the next four days, you can see here. And if you want to cancel it, you need to contact them. But obviously, we want to make this faster. We don't want to wait for four days. So what we need to do is head to GoDaddy. And here in GoDaddy, this is where we left off. Uh, let's go back to the domain settings. And in here on the left, you see you have the transfers. If you click here, transfer out. And here's my domain name. So if I click here, approve transfer. And that's it. Now it's approved. It will take probably another five to 10 minutes. So you're going to get the two or three emails at the same time from GoDaddy. First email just saying, hey, if you stay with us, here's a desperate discount. But I mean, why couldn't they offer this discount much earlier? And anyway, this is more expensive than what we pay with the name cheap. So uh, we're going to just ignore this and we're going to go forward. And it just says here, we successfully completed your domain transfer. Awesome. Now you would think it's done, but unfortunately not quite yet. You need to wait a little bit longer to receive an email from Namecheap. So once Namecheap confirms that they actually, yes, uh, the domain name has been transferred, then you can have all the control over it. And for me, it took about an hour. It could be a bit faster, but for me, it took an hour. And then I received this email that uh, Namecheap is actually now uh, in control of, uh, of my domain name. And we can verify it easily. We just come here. I'm still inside my domain name. So you see this text. If I refresh this page, it should disappear now. And I should have the full control of this domain name. And as you can see, I do have it because, because the text disappeared. And I also see these fields now. What I can do is now come here, sorry, to advanced DNS, for example, or to a domain. And I can now double check that name server so that uh, all the details that I had before is actually installed. So at this point, you also want to just go on your website and your email, uh, anywhere you've, uh, you've attached your domain name, just double check that everything works. Namecheap should copy everything from GoDaddy, uh, but just double check because this is the point where you, you, know, you need to make sure that everything's working. And if there's any issues, just reach out to Namecheap support. They should be able to help you with this. Now you know the domain is with a good host, but without knowing how to make your website look professional, you will miss out on a lot of customers. That's why you should watch this video next if you want to learn seven tips to make your website look more professional.